Hello everyone, so today I would like to talk about Kitsune, but not only Kitsune. I will tell you about Kitsune, what is Kitsune later, but firstly I want to be more focused about what are foxes, because Kitsune are something like magical foxes, so let's get started. Of course, foxes. I think that are considered as one of the cutest animals in our world. Because these small creatures are found on the each side of the globe and the most common species is the red fox. Because of it, they inspired our ancestors and as a result, today we can see how foxes are portrayed in folklore stories. In addition, nowadays, foxes are a symbol of cleverness and slyness to people. In English, there are plenty of idioms that says about foxes. For example, as slay as a fox. And it means exceptionally clever, cunning or shrewd, especially in dishonest or not fair ways. But it's not only for English language. In languages like Spanish, Swedish and Russian, we can find similar idioms. For example, in Russian it will be Hitri kak visa. When we talk about language, I need to tell you something more. So in English, there is a term foxy, that is having the qualities of a fox. And it also can be used to describe somebody's attractiveness or just to say that somebody is red-haired. The next term that is connected with foxes in English is to outfox. And it means to get an advantage over someone by acting more cleverly than them. However, in some cultures, foxes are not only animals, but creatures that have magical features or powers. The most popular example of these mystical foxes are kitsune, found in Japanese folklore. So kitsune. What is kitsune? Or what are kitsune? So kitsune are literally just foxes because the word kitsune in Japanese has many meanings and one of them are fox, especially the red fox. It can also mean a sly person and it is maybe not funny but you have this fox as an animal, as a person and kitsune means also soba or udon topped with deep fried tofu. And the third meaning is for the golden brown color or light brown color. It was really interesting that a word kitsune that is connected with fox has many meanings. In English language we tend to use kitsune to describe a type of supernatural creatures called yōkai, found in Japanese folklore. In fact, their correct name is yōko, which we can translate as mythological fox spirit. These fox-like creatures are probably the most popular yōkai outside Japan because of their appearance in various films, anime and so on. Also, there are many different names for kitsune that are used in different regions of Japan. Ninko, Osaki Gitsune, Koda Gitsune, Nogi Gitsune. We need to remember that Yoko are not the same. Many people think that Kitsune are equal, but no, they are not. There are many different species of them. So let's start maybe from two main types of Yoko. The first one is Yako. These are wild foxes and they are known for doing mischiefs to humans. Yako are the lowest grade of the fox. Then we have Senko or Zenko. These are simple good foxes. And there are various subtypes of Senko. For example, there are foxes like Pyakko or Hakoko or Reiko. That is synonymous to Pyakko. 
These are white foxes which are associated with kindness. They are the nicest foxes. And they are messengers of Inari, a Japanese deity. We have white foxes, so now we have Kurogitsune or Genko. They are similar to Byakko, but not so common. They represent a good omen. Next to white and black foxes, there are also red foxes. They also were a symbol of good omen. Kinko and Ginko. One of the species of Zenko in Kitsune Monogatari Kinko was described as the reflection of Yin, that was the representation of the sun. While Ginko, in comparison, was a reflection of Yang and the representation of the moon, Kyubiko. It is a white fox with nine tails. There is a rule that if a number of tails is bigger, it means that fox is older and more powerful. When a kitsune gains the ninth tail, it transforms into a white or gold fox. Tenko A fox with a powerful divine power. According to some sources, Tenko is a fox that has reached 1000 or 800 years. Kuko It is the most powerful type of kitsune and they are a millennium year old. In early Japanese texts, kitsune were a symbol of good or bad omen. Kitsune also in literature were often portrayed as beautiful women that were attractive for men, but it is not impossible for kitsune to change into a man. Jinko is a special term and this name is used both for those men who have turned into kitsune and for those kitsune who have turned into men. Kitsune Tsuki, setting human's body by fox spirits. It is believed that a person possessed by Kitsune starts to have similar physical features like a fox. In Japan, Kitsune Tsuki was treated as something real till the end of 19th century and many people thought that mental illnesses were an effect of Kitsune Tsuki. The research in the same century showed that not so intelligent women believe that they are possessed by kitsune. This is what the research said. The next term that is connected with kitsune is kitsune bi, and it is literally fox fire. It is a term for mysterious appearance of fire orbs of different colors that were seen by people. It is believed that they are made by magical foxes that forms a fire balls from the breath to light a path up. But how was fox fire probably created? There is a scientific explanation for this phenomenon. The most common explanation is that these fires are the oxidation of the chemical phosphine caused by decaying organic matter such as can be found in forests. Other suggestions say they are a mere optical illusion caused by the setting sun. Tsune no yomeiri, fox wedding. It is similar term to monkey's wedding or sun shower in English. It is a meteorological phenomenon in which rain falls when the sun is shining. In Japan, Kitsune no yomeiri has different variation according to the region. For example, in Saitama and Ishika prefectures, it is known as Kitsune no Yomitori, the taking of a fox bridge. In Shizuoka, it is called Kitsune no Shugen, the fox wedding celebration. In Tokushima, Kitsune no Yomeiri is called Kitsune no Soshiki, fox funeral which is believed as bad omen of coming death. Sun shower or tenkiyame in Japanese is connected with fox wedding because foxes want to hide the ceremony from people's eyes. Kitsune mochi Families that had in families kitsune um, Having foxes had many benefits, however these families were not liked by society and very often isolated. Inari 
were a deity of cereals, foundries, trade and rice. Their messengers are foxes and sometimes the deity is mistaken with them as Kitsune's statuette appear in the shrine. In China there is Huli Jing. Literally, it is a fox spirit or fox essence. Huli Jing are Chinese mythological creatures who can be either good or bad spirits. Foxes lie in the middle of darkness and lightness, divine transcendence and demons. In China, there are two terms for fox-like creatures. The first one is Huli Jing. It is also a colorful expression that means a seductive woman. The second term is Hyuxian. Literally, it means fox transcendence. Fox spirits can appear as a woman or a man, a young or an old person. Sometimes their behavior can be ghost-like. They can haunt people and as a result be a reason of somebody's bad health condition. However, they can be also good and bring benefits or be an old man and give lectures. Fox spirits are more popular in North China. In Chinese folklore, there is a deity that has a fox as the alter ego. However, foxes in China are not so popular as in Japan. A gumiho is a fox-like creature that appears in the tales and legends of Korea. It is similar to Japanese Kitsune and Huijing. They are always represented as women and almost always evil. They are often described as luring men with their beauty. Then they eat their liver to become fully human. It is said that after eating liver from a hundred men, they can transform into human. In early Mesopotamian mythology, the fox is one of the sacred animals of the goddess Ninhursag, a deity called Earth Mother. Also, the fox was her messenger. In the Greek mythology, there is a big fox that also is a supernatural creature. The Teumesian fox, according to the myths, was sent by one of the gods. The fox was used as a punishment for people's crime that lived in Thebes. The legend of Thebes, Creon said to Anthetron to stop the fox. It was thought that Leolabs, a dog with an ability to catch everything, would stop the fox. However, the fox was too sly to be catched. As a result, Zeus, after noticing what was happening, decided to turn the animals into stone and then into constellations. In Finland, we can find that there is a legend that says about the fire fox called Tulikettu. A huge mystical creature was a target of many hunters. They believed that catching Tulikettu can bring them many benefits like great wealth. The fox that lived in far north was only one of its kind. There wasn't many Tulikettu, but only one. Of course, because of the fox's cleverness, it couldn't be catched because of its fastness. It is said that when Turiketu runs fast, it creates sparkles. It is like in Japan, Kitsune Bee. And even these sparks in Finnish have their own name, Revontulet, which means fox fire. In fact, it is what we call the Northern Light. They appear only in the coldest nights. In Persian culture, foxes were treated as a kind of dog. Their target was to fight against a demon. Foxes meat was forbidden to eat as it was treated as an unforgettable act, albeit their guts could be used for medical treatment. In Arab folklore, they are weak and cunning. Also, it is believed that they can fake their death. In Bulgaria, Russia and Ukraine, there is a special name for foxes that appear in different folklore stories. In Bulgaria, fox is named as Kumarisa. In English, it means Godmother Fox. In Russian, foxes are called Lisa Patrikievna. Patrikievna comes from Prince Patrikas, 
who was the governor of Novgorod, and he wasn't really liked by people, as he was a reason of enmity among the people. Because of his cunning acts, people in Russia associated his behavior to foxes. In Ukraine, foxes are called Lisichka Sestrichka, which means fox sister. Foxes in folklore always have the role of malicious, tricky animal, very often they are presented as women. Also, this character is often in tandem with a wolf, what is always pranked by a sly fox. In Bulgarian folklore, this fox is called Kumichko Vulcha. The next character that is a victim of the fox is a farmer, because his chickens are always stolen by the fox. Going more into the West, in folklore stories in England, France and Germany, there is Reynard the Fox, a main character of the medieval stories about trickster Red Fox. Despite his slyness, he is a sympathetic hero and he just uses his traits to survive. In the stories, there is also a wolf character, Isegrim who is his enemy and uncle at the same time. Foxes are popular all over the world, however the most known supernatural foxes are found in Japan. In China and Korea we can find similar creatures, but they are less popular or have different connotations. Fox image can be found also in Middle East or European folklore. Some foxes have magical skills like Finnish Tirketu, Japanese Kitsune, Chinese Hulijin, Korean Kumiho. Some foxes are just anthropomorphic animals like in Slavic West European cultures. One thing is certain, no matter where you are, foxes can be treated as sly, but also clever and beautiful animals. They inspired people in the past and now people use their image in games, films, books and so on.